On Monday, President Barroso met with the Austrian Federal Chancellor Werner Feynman in Vienna. Talking about growth and jobs in Europe, Jose Manuel Barroso welcomed Austria's European commitment and leadership on issues like youth employment and the financial transaction tax. Austria is also one of the EU member states with the lowest youth unemployment rate. The president said he was impressed by the Austrian model to promote youth employment. On invitation of Chancellor Feynman, President Barroso visited a vocational training center, Jugend am Werk, for young unemployed people. Well established in Austria, these centers offer to young people apprentice training courses for vocational training in a large number of professions. The Austrian model, uh, because Austria is one of the countries that is doing better in terms of youth employment, is being considered in benchmarking, in best practices, one of the references for other, other experiences. At the same time, we are proposing, and it was in fact in that debate that I mentioned, uh, Chancellor Feynman had a very important role among the member states, also in the European Council, to establish what we call the youth guarantee. Four months after the completing their education, each uh, young people, young man or young woman, has, uh, is entitled either to find a work, or if he cannot, he or she can find a work, to have at least the opportunity to have some complementary training or apprenticeships. And this was, in principle, accepted now. During his visit, President Barroso also met with the federal president, Heinz Fischer, and the president of the Austrian parliament, Barbara Prammer. Back in Brussels, President Barroso received on Tuesday a visit from Serge Sargassian, president of Armenia. He expressed full support for the country's reform and modernization agenda and confirmed the EU's commitment to deepen its engagement with Armenia in the framework of the Eastern Partnership. The president highlighted that the relationship between the European Union and Armenia is not only about the economy or trade. It's also about democracy, fundamental rights and the rule of law the universal values that both share. He reaffirmed also the urgent need to resolve the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. On Wednesday, Jose Manuel Barroso held talks with Nasir Abdulaziz Al Nasser, president of the UN General Assembly. The president of the European Commission expressed the EU's strong support for the United Nations. The two presidents discussed ongoing efforts to put the global economy on track for sustainable growth and the contribution that the UN could give to this process. They also talked about the situation in Syria. President Barroso underlined that the EU strongly backs ongoing diplomatic efforts to stop the atrocities in Syria. The president received Hannelore Kraft, the minister-president of the biggest German land, North Rhine-Westphalia. They discussed a balanced European crisis response focused not only on smart fiscal consolidation, but also on growth. In this context, the important role of the EU's structural funds was highlighted, as well as the future shape of the EU budget to live up to the common challenges. Finally, on Thursday, President Barroso met in Brussels with Raila Odinga, Prime Minister of Kenya. They discussed the situation in the region and the fight against piracy. The president said Kenya is a very important partner for Europe in the stabilization and development of the Horn of Africa region. We are in the process of deploying a civilian mission to strengthen maritime capacities in the Horn of Africa, Western Indian Ocean region, and we see Kenya as a very important partner in this venture. I have conveyed to Prime Minister Odinga that it is only by joining our efforts that we can contribute to greater security in Somalia and to restore peace and stability in the region. Furthermore, he stressed that the upcoming elections in Kenya will be an important benchmark in the country's reform and reconciliation path. General elections should be held next year, but no date has been fixed yet.